If you touch the live wire, the current passes through your body to the ground all the way to the distribution box. So the ground completes the circuit and this current flow through your body can kill you in a second. To protect yourself, you have to isolate your feet from the ground by using a pair of shoes for example. There is another way for protection by using isolation transformer. They have winding ratio of 1 to 1 which means output voltage is the same as the input voltage. They isolate the ground so if you touch any of these two wires you won't get shock. Even with bare feet because the current has no way to go unless you touch both wires at the same time. They use them in the hospitals because many sensors and the probes touch in the patient's body. So if something goes wrong it protects the patient from getting electrocuted. Sometimes it's difficult to find isolation transformer in the markets because they have special and limited applications. So I got 12 volt transformers and I connected them together back to back as shown here. The first transformer stepped down the voltage from 220 volt to 12 volt. The second one step up the voltage again from 12 volt to 220 volt. I tried this method but the voltage drop was too much. As you can see the input voltage is 227 and the output voltage is 209. After connecting the load it get even worse, something like 140. That because of the internal resistance of the transformer winding. So I decided to modify these transformers. I start to remove the lamination of the core and tear it down. The red winding is the high voltage and the blue one is the low voltage. So instead of using four windings with two transformers, we can use two winding with single transformer. By this method, we can increase the efficiency and reduce the voltage drop. I put back the laminations of the core one by another. Now it's time to test. So as you can see, the input voltage is 219 volt and the output voltage is 215 volt, which is much better than before. This screwdriver has live wire indicator. It detects the live wire on the input side but nothing on the output side, which means it's safe to touch. But be careful, if you touch both wires at the same time, that's gonna kill you. This incandescent bulb is only 5 watts. If you need more power, you need bigger transformer. These transformers are not only for isolation, but also to remove the high voltage spikes from the maze voltage. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.